Today we are doing something different. Let's play a video game. Better yet, let's make it a Tamagotchi and our goal is to keep the elephant alive. Let me explain you the rules. The energy level will drop when we spend time looking for information or organizing our notes in Evernote. And on the other hand, every time we use a pinned note, a keyboard shortcut, a shortcut, anything like that, it will bring the energy levels up. This is precisely how I decide what and when to organize. Let me give you an example. I have already talked about it on my last article. By the way, if you like reading, check my articles on Medium. I save some receipts and proofs of payment in Evernote. I don't do this, but let's pretend for a moment that I categorize them. When it's time to scan it, I'll have to think about what is the best notebook, what tags should I use, a title, maybe a title, a description. Can you see how long this is taking? Imagine doing this with several receipts and proofs of payment will be spending a lot of energy. The question here is, does it worth it? In my opinion, it doesn't. Evernote can read text and images and a simple search will return all the notes with that, let's say that company name, even if it's in the image. And if we know the date range, we can scroll up and down and find and, and refine the search and figure out what is the note we are looking for. So why not use the search all the time? Well, in this case, it makes sense because it's something I'll rarely look for, maybe never. It's okay to spend some time refining the search, trying to figure out what is the note we are looking for. Especially because I didn't spend a lot of time in the first place organizing and categorizing each receipt and proof of payment. This is how I think about it. Even if I spent an entire day looking for it, which I think it's impossible in Evernote, it's okay because it's a once in a lifetime event. Now let's move to the other side of the spectrum. Years ago, I moved here to Portugal and I have now a lot of new documents, a lot of new numbers that I have to memorize. Some of them I memorized, others I didn't, of course. Let's say I use the search box to look for my dog's microchip number, my NHS number. I'll have to type some words here, my name, maybe the dog's name. I don't know, I, I have to type a combination there to try to find that document. It will take me a while to do it. And if this is something I'll do a lot of times, and I do it a lot of times because like I said, I didn't, I didn't memorize all the numbers. I'm spending a lot of time searching, refining, looking for that information. And most of the time when I'm looking for that, I'm doing another thing. I, I may be filling a document online, I may be talking to someone on the phone. So I have to stop what I'm doing, take a lot of time searching, trying to find that, and then go back to what I was doing. Can you see the energy levels dropping and dropping and dropping here? What if I had a list, a click away with all the documents, names and numbers, and maybe the document itself, another click away? That would be super efficient, wouldn't it? Well, that's how I do it. I save a lot of time with that, uh, not, not save, we cannot save time. I don't spend time looking for that information. It's always a click away. This of course are only examples based on my reality and they are in opposite extremes, making it easier to understand or to decide what's the best course of action. There's a lot in the middle and sometimes the lines will cross, making it harder to find out if what we are doing is the best 
to do. If you seldom use the information, I suggest not spending time organizing it. The search box is your friend. It will work fine in most situations. On the other hand, if you are constantly looking for something, invest time organizing that information. Also, invest time learning the advanced features of Evernote I'm constantly teaching here on the channel. But if you are not confident on what to do, use your intuition. Try it and change if you need to. Remember, your goal is to use less energy, either organizing it or searching for it. The energy spent analogy will help you quickly perceive if what you are doing for each situation is the best to do. Now watch this other video and learn how to search and find fast in Evernote and make your energy bar level go up. See you soon.